what is up you guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here if you are new here please make sure you go ahead and slap that like button for me because it really helps support my channel and also make sure you subscribe because i would hate for you to miss any of what else is gonna happen with this tv show because i am completely gagged like first of all i saw that so many people were watching it so i was like you know let me watch it and i wasn't even expecting to do a full review on it or touch upon it on my channel at all but i literally just finished episode one and i have no one to talk to about it so here i am here to discuss it with you guys and hopefully some people who have watched the show find this video and we're able to talk about it together because this show is epic and it was trending for like the past week or so and i was kind of just like an eye roll i'm not gonna lie i was a little closed-minded i gave it an eye roll because of the whole chess aspect but then i thought to myself you know i really do enjoy like television shows and movies that give females like a huge platform and i love when the females like triumph over like the males like that i love that vibe and i know that i never saw a trailer or anything i just noticed just from the screenshots and like some of the paper like some of the um the artwork that I seen just for the TV show. As soon as I noticed that type of stuff, I was like, oh, I kind of might be into it because it looks like she's kicking butt. Even though it's chess, it looks like she's kicking butt. Girl, let me just tell you that when the, when it started, first of all, when the show started with the whole heart being older immediately, I was like confused with the water. So I guess we'll get to that eventually um, of w how she gets to that like frantic adult personality that she is in the beginning of episode one. But as soon as it started and she was young, I was like, I am here for this all only because it was so far back dated. And I don't know why, but like the older I get, the more I like television shows and movies that have like eras and time periods that like I wasn't there for because I feel like that's my special time to kind of like learn and enjoy it and I feel like all that I saw like years ago of like different time eras didn't matter like I was so close-minded and so young so I was just like okay a movie about the 1940s or 1960 whatever now I'm like oh my gosh like look where they're at like look what time period it is so as soon as it started and I realized they were such so far back I was like oh this is like juicy like this is about female empowerment at, at its best because this is when females were really really like told they couldn't do anything and told that everything was for men and blah 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 so this is a whole new level of like oh my gosh I'm gonna be be like you know like um i'm gonna stomp out the men and all like this is the beginning of that by the way guys please make sure you slap that like button because i really want this video to find my queen's gambit people and also subscribe so you don't miss because i'm probably gonna do episode by episode if you guys want me to let me know in the comments down below i'll do episode by episode if you guys enjoy this enough if not it's just gonna be a quick little episode one rant but let me know in the comments down below if you want me to continue um, doing these analysis of the episodes. But anyway, so the minute it started, I was super shocked that it was in the, back in the day and I was so excited. And then I saw the chest and for some reason, like this whole time I was eye rolling about the chest, but then for some reason, when she started playing chess, I was so intrigued. Like I, the way she was looking at the chessboard is like how I feel about YouTube. Like, and when she laid down at night and she saw the chessboard in the, in the ceiling, I got like chills because like I lay down at night and I see like YouTube videos, like, and I see music and I see the songs I want to do and the music videos I want to do. And I'm very, very much attached to that creative part of my brain that like is a dreamer. And I felt like I felt that in her from like the beginning. And I'm all, I'm like so it's like, I couldn't even step away from continuing to episode two because one, I well, I wanted to so bad. I wanted to finish to get to episode two because I'm so excited to finish the show. I love this show so much now, but I needed to come talk about just episode one because I feel like there was just a lot in that episode and needed to get off my chest before I even continued. Like the fact that I'm trying to figure out also if like, was it the pills or was it these vitamins or whatever that were making her see these, um, the chest port in the ceiling and stuff like that? Like, was it making her hallucinate or, or was that her dreaming? Because, you know, I fall asleep, you know, like sober and normal and everything, like not on any special vitamins or pills. And I see these dreams and I see these goals and I see these YouTube videos and I see these passions in my brain explode in the ceiling just like she did. But is she seeing it because of the pill she was taking or is she seeing it because she's 
she's a dreamer and because she's a child prodigy, like, what was the difference? You know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out, like, how much of her is are these vitamins and how much of her is her. But either way, she starts playing chess. I immediately get chills. I can connect. I can connect to the passion she has. I can connect to people being so, like, in, sh in shock of her. Not only in shock, but in fear. You can almost feel a little bit like, like both the, the mother mistress of the school and the chess man down in the basement, everyone seems very, like, hesitant to open up to her, like, hesitant to show her um, anything good, like, to, you know, in the beginning, it's like, it was very, like, they were, they were happy that she was good at what she was doing, but as you, I feel like it took a while for them to realize, like, not realize, but it took a while for them to kind of, like, tell her that she was good you know what i mean for a while they kind of just played with her played with her played with her pulled her strings pulled her string and then finally he was like you're good and in that moment it was just like oh this is gonna get so good because i just feel like not only just net in today's world but especially back then you need it as a child and probably especially as a young female child you needed someone to tell you like you're special you're good you can do this and with that I feel like the opportunities are endless, but especially with her history with her parents and just not having like that love. The the child actor, first of all, is amazing. Like she plays very good at like kind of not dead in the eyes, but just kind of like nothing's gonna phase her. Like, you know, I lost my parents. I got an accident. I'm in this house now. And like what, like what chess battle is gonna put me down? Like what moment is gonna make me sad or what moment's gonna make me confused or, or mess up my life? Her life already feels like it's a mess. So, you know, I love that in her eyes and that, especially when she walks into that, when she does walk into that chess room with all those boys, I was gagged. I was like, yes, kill, defeat all of them. Like literally slay them, annihilate them. Cause when they walked in and they saw a girl there, they were all just giving that same, that same this look has gone over generations over generations. You don't understand. Year after year, generation after generation, there are groups of just men and boys who literally think that girls can't do the same thing as they do. And, you know, I grew up with a, a mother, a single mother at that, who was just strong and good at everything that she did. And she played sports and she was beautiful and she did this, she did that, you have her job, her makeup. I, I, she was a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? So in my mind, like, females can do it all, if not more and if not better. So... That idea that, like, females can't do something that men can do, it just, like, blows me away. And when they walked into that chest room and they saw a girl standing there, they gave her that look, like, oh, we can't, like, we can't wait to beat her. And she really went around the whole circle and beat everybody. And I just want to take a moment to say that that inspired me so much just for my everyday life because I don't go through that whole, like, male-female thing. But, you know, me being, like, a minority and mixed and gay and stuff like that, me just being on YouTube and trying to do drag music and all the things that I do, it's almost like there's not a lot of me out there. I mean, there are some, but there's not a lot of me. So the you, it's all about that representation, you know what I mean? You always want to, like, stand up for who you are and, like, and be strong about it. Like, and I feel like she did that in this movie, like, and it just inspired me so much because it's the beginning of that and to know that she was like the spark of that back then and generation after generation this happened like people felt like women felt like they couldn't do things gay people felt like they couldn't do things it shows like this that like remind you to break out of that mentality to break out of that mentality of like you can't do something because you're x y and z like no do it and try or try it you might be good at it like and not only that but i'm just i learned so much from the episode like also follow your instincts follow your gut like she went over to that chess board not once not twice but a couple of times and tried to get in on that chess game could you imagine could you imagine i know for i don't like i said i don't know the series completely but i know that this series is going to move on to her adulthood and i'm excited for that and i know that it's going to probably get it onto a lot of different drama and, and amazing episodes and um i saw already she had like not an interest in boys but she's already just growing older so i know this is going to grow into many things this show is probably going to become iconic to me and I, I and i'm already so attached and it's in just in a younger year so imagine when she gets older it's like around my age it's going to be amazing but could you imagine i just wanted to say this could you imagine if she went on like if that first time she asked to play the chess game and she got denied if she just said okay i'm not gonna play the chess game then because he said no
No, she came back and asked again. And that should teach you something. You have an idea in your head that you might be good at something or you have a little spark in your head that you might be able to succeed even a little bit at something and then later maybe a lot. But even if you have an idea that you might succeed a little bit at something, you better try it. You better go after it full on, head on. And if someone says no, ask the person next to them. If they say no, ask the person next to them. If they both say no, come back the next day and ask them both again. Because that's your gut. That's your mind and your, your body and your soul and your spirit telling you you might be good at something. And that's what she felt. She felt that at such a young age. And again, I don't know if it was because of those vitamins. I don't know if it was because of you know, all those things that were happening um, psychologically, mentally in her head or what it is. But all I saw was a dream. All I saw was a passionate dreamer. That's what I saw. That's what I feel like this show is about in general. It may take different turns in the future. In the future, I'm not sure if it's gonna get sad. If it's gonna get like more heroic. If she's gonna fall more apart. I mean, as you can see by the end of this episode one, with when she listen when she was going through get, to get the pill bottles, my heart was beating so fast. First of all, Elizabeth Taylor looked beautiful in that Cleopatra movie. I really need to see that movie because I've never seen it and it looks so good. But when all those teachers and students were inside of the of the classroom watching the movie and she was out there my head my, my heart was beating so fast like I wanted her to get him but and then she got in there and I was just like girl like get a bag or something like and she's and when she shoved them all in her mouth I was like oh my gosh she's gonna, she, I already knew she's gonna pass out I was like oh she just you, you too hungry girl you too hungry like you should have got you a little bag or something and like you know I don't even know but you could have really took care of it but you know she's young you know <laughs> things happen but not that I condone anyone ever doing anything like that but I was just like as the main character I was like rooting for her in a way and then obviously she got caught and shattered that and I was just like oh my gosh like so already like there was so much beauty so much madness so much passion and then so much and then fatality and then confusion and then at the very very end like just like it, that explosion of the jar and just like messiness so I feel like episode one of this show was a nice range of emotions to preview what the rest of the show is gonna be like I have no idea I know so many of you have probably already finished it if you finished it let me know in the comments down below how much you loved it let me know if you want me to continue doing episode by episode um if you would love me to do that please give this a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll do episode by episode reviews if not i'll probably just come do like a final see your full series review just to get it off my chest again like but it would be really cool just to talk to you guys and discuss it let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part was or if there are any other shows that you guys are um, watching right now that are get you this riled up or this passionate or like spark your 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 mind and stuff the way that this has for me all right guys i will see you in the next video thank you so much for being here please make sure you slap that like button to support my channel and subscribe and mwah, i'll see you in the next video bye